Hello, editing Matt here. Just a quick thing to say, this isn't the video I had planned for today. I have a much more ambitious video that I was hoping I would be able to put up, but it's proving a little bit more challenging than I thought. So I came up with this quick emergency video to tide you over instead. But keep an eye out for something pretty cool very soon, as soon as I get it right. But in the meantime, enjoy this video. Hello and welcome to Big Friendly Grub. I hope you are well, you wonderful, beautiful, fantastic people. Now who doesn't love cake? Everyone loves cake, whether it's like a plain vanilla sponge or a carrot cake or indulgent chocolate cake, everyone has their favorite. But sometimes you want cake, you have that craving and you don't have any cake. Now a lot of people will go for a chocolate mug cake, which is absolutely fine because it's quick, it's easy, it can be done in five minutes and it satisfies that craving. But what if you want something a little bit more than a chocolate mug cake, because it can be a little bit spongy, but you still want something super easy, don't want to worry about all that, mixing together butter and sugar and all of that, well, I've got something for you. It's a three ingredient chocolate cake, and it is so simple, and it can be done pretty quickly, only in like 30 to 40 minutes. So it's literally only three ingredients, and its core ingredient, which makes this possible, is Nutella or in this case, a knockoff of Nutella, so not Ella, I guess. So we're using a whole jar of this, self-raising flour, and some eggs, and that is it. That's all we need. It's gonna be super simple, super quick, so let's get on with it. Oops, off, because this is going in the microwave just to loosen it up a bit. There we go, that's all off, otherwise that will cause an almighty storm in my microwave. And just over to the microwave with this, and in there for just 30 seconds on the high. There we go, that will have loosened that up a bit. Now I'm just going to get in here so you can see that's all loosened up quite nicely. And then to that we're going to crack four eggs. One, two, three, and no shell, thank you. And four, and more shell. And I'm just going to get in there and mix that all together. That's all combined together. Now at this point you could put in a pinch of salt, a little bit of vanilla extract, or, or anything you want really, just to, if you want to build upon this, but we're going with just three ingredients today. And the third and final ingredient is of course, self-raising flour. So there's 175 grams there, in that goes, fold that all through. Then with all that combined, I'm gonna pop that into an eight inch cake tin, which is lined and greased. And spread that out around the tin. Then that goes into the oven, 180 degrees C for about 30 to 40 minutes. Right, it's been 30 minutes and our cake Looks pretty done. It's a bit of cracking, but that's fine because we're going for taste, not looks. This is literally only three ingredients. So that's fine. I don't care about that today. So that is pretty much done. I am going to leave it to cool in the tin for a few minutes and then I will take it out and let it cool down completely. And then I'll probably just give it a dusting of cocoa powder, I think, just to hide any imperfections. But that, for all intents and purposes, is done. Here we go. One cake in three ingredients. Might just need one egg less. Uh, I checked that jar of fake Nutella and it's actually a little bit less than usual than a normal jar of Nutella. It's usually about 400 grams, that one's 360. I should have checked that, but never mind. But you probably just need one less egg. But other than that, it looks pretty good. And the cocoa powder and the shards on top cover up a multitude of sins. So I'm gonna go in and cut a slice out because that's the most important thing. Whoa. There we go, look at that. That is not bad at all for a three ingredient cake. It is super light, it's really, really light. And yeah, 
I'm happy with that. That has turned out pretty well. Apart from the cracking, that looks pretty good. So it is time for the taste test. Well, there we go. One three ingredient chocolate cake. Not gonna rub it on about it anymore. I'm just gonna give it a go. All right. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It's not the most intense chocolate cake you ever had, but you get that like Nutella flavor in it. And it's nice. It is really, really light, super light. It's got that flavor in it. And that is just the three basic ingredients. If you want to pimp this up a bit more, put a bit of salt, a little bit of vanilla extract, other bits and pieces like that, you can. This just gives you a base, but even that by itself is really nice. It's just a nice, lovely, light chocolate cake Go lovely with a cup of coffee. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. We'll scratch that cake itch. If you don't have much around the house and want cake, but don't want to go with like a cake in a mug, that'll do the job. Nice. Mm. That was good. If you don't want to finish it off with cone cocoa powder, because that's quite an intense taste, finish it off with a bit of icing sugar or something like that. Works just as well, if not better. But I use cocoa powder because I fancy a little bit more intense here. But that is it, that is it from me. I wanted to show you how to do that because it's nice and simple. It's a brilliant, quick way to get cake in very little effort. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. If you did, like the channel, subscribe the video. Wait, know the other thing. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the notification bell to find out when new videos are going up. And I will see you next time on Big Friendly Grub. Take care, bye.